hello guys and welcome to another exciting video on kate vlogs if you are new here kindly consider subscribing also don't forget to tap the post notification bell so that you're alerted every time i upload a new video so in today's video i was exclusively shopping for a person that was not interested in any hairs and um this is how i shopped for them so i distributed the money in such a manner that no hair was in that budget so watch uh, what i bought for the client and i hope you're gonna enjoy and also learn something about beginner friendly kind of stock Just to clarify something small, um, this stock is not bought in one shop or two shops or three shops. I shop in many, many different shops and that is why it has taken me two days to do this shopping because um, I don't want to do a shopping that I later on regret on prices and that is why I did the shopping exclusively for this customer on that day at day one and day two and um i did in several several shops um maybe for example i can give an example of something like a black shampoo um you'll get that black shampoo is cheaper in this shop and subaru is cheaper in another shop foundation is cheaper in this shop and um maybe another product is cheaper in another shop and that is why some of these products um are bought in different shops but i always like put them in one location when i want to um uh, package them so that sending the parcel will become cheaper so we are putting all the products from the different shops in at least uh, two boxes to make sending the parcel a bit cheaper for me Also, something that I want everybody who is starting a business right now to know is that most of the cosmetic products have really, really hiked in prices. Most products are not the same prices um, that they were before, and it is because of the increase in importation costs. And also, um, the perfumes, um, the creams, the bleaching creams, most of these cosmetic products, the hair sprays, even something like Amara products are now hiking in prices and um, it is not difficult to stock us on sellers. And um, you have to understand that it is the economy that is bad everywhere and therefore um, you should expect a hike in prices. And also, as a retailer, make sure that you also increase your prices. The other day, the braids were costing 60 shillings retail. Right now, there are some braids that are even higher than 60 shillings in wholesale. And therefore, always make sure that you are up to date with the prices so that you don't sell your products at a loss. Hi. So you're supposed to book in advance if you want me to shop for you because I always have a lot of people requesting for the same and therefore you should book earlier so that I can place you on a certain day that is comfortable with me and also um, I can only get out to shop for you when you have paid my fees and also you have sent money for shopping. <music> So what exactly happens during the shopping day? Um, you're not supposed to like uh, leave your phone very, very far away from you because I'll be calling you to confirm one or two things. Uh, something else that I will request if I'm shopping for you is to be very, very patient with me because um, if you start hurrying me up, I will end up like buying things faster to just conclude that transaction. But if you give me ample time, um, depending on your budget, I'm going to shop slowly by slowly. And um, I always take my time to ensure that at least I don't get products uh, uh, very, very expensively in exaggerated prices. Uh, so you should definitely give me enough time to do the shopping. Stop calling calling every three minutes or every five minutes you're calling oh what's happening oh what's the plan how far have you gone no 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 you're supposed to just be patient and then after i finish everything and i'm sending the parcel or if you want to just um uh, maybe like add something else that was not in the budget you can tell me via a text um because when i'm shopping i'm shopping in nairobi i'm walking in the streets and it is very insecure to keep on receiving your calls from anywhere in the streets you understand
So definitely, definitely, you're going to receive all the receipts so that you're able to set the retail prices of uh, products. But there are some receipts that will not have the actual contact of the shop, especially if some of the products are not products that are legal. For obvious reasons, we don't want to expose the wholesalers. And that is a plug I have never done and will never do that plug on YouTube. So um, I hope that makes sense. Someone is outside there wondering um, how they're going to know how they are going to sell these products. And um, I also want to tell that person that all the receipts of these products um, with their names will always be included in the receipt. So it will be easier for you to set the retail prices because you're seeing uh, maybe a remover, uh, maybe costed 10 shillings and you are supposed to sell it at 50 shillings. And if you want me to do a video exclusively explaining how you're supposed to set the retail prices when you receive your goods, let me know on the comment section and then I'll prepare that video and teach you how you're supposed to distribute the retail prices because there are some products that you increase up to 300% of the wholesale price while there are some products that you will only eat 5 shillings and I will tell you why but let me know on the comment section if that is a video that will interest you so with my experience in shopping and how i have seen uh, the different kinds of capital um, from 100,000 to 200,000 that is a good start and um, most of the products will be available um, especially if you're starting a normal beauty shop with hairs and uh, other accessories plus uh, hair foods treatment conditioners and shampoos and uh, brushes makeups jewelry that is uh, something that is enough and during this shopping I shopped for jewelry almost worth um, about 9,000 between 8,000 to 9,000 and I also shopped for a lot of perfume, over 30 fragrances of perfumes. And um, at this time, I also want to announce that um, perfume is increasing in price. And uh, we just pray that things will become normal because these importation costs are getting out of hand. And we believe that um, this new government will do something about uh, also uh, increasing import, import duty on cosmetic products. Are you getting educated or are you enjoying this video kindly give this video a thumbs up because that is one way you are supporting my content on youtube and also this will make youtube recommend this video to many other consumers like you who are interested in business opportunities <music> Thank you so so much for watching today's video i'm gonna see you on my next one bye bye